island. Yeah, I visited Vancouver about three years ago. Oh yes, yes, you visited Vancouver three years ago. It uh, it's not. It's not humid the way you would think, even though it's near the coast. Yeah. My parents went for a vacation and they said that they loved it because mm. it was no snow. Yeah, very, very beautiful place. I yeah. visited that place in oh. uh, autumn season, so it's quite uh -huh. cold. <laughs> uh -huh. I, want, I wanted to see the beautiful and uh, color of uh, autumn leaves and oh. uh, maple, maple leaves. Yes, maple leaves. Yeah. Yes. In Japan, maple leaves, autumn color, maple leaves is very beautiful, red color, but um, I was disappointed. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, uh, you know, the, the trees turn gold in, in Boulder. Yeah. Yes, we have these beautiful aspen trees. They have a white tree trunk. They have white <laughs> tree trunks and beautiful yellow leaves in the fall. They're so pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Japan's autumn leaves is very beautiful. Yeah. Ah, Japan, yes. I bet you have a beautiful autumn. Do you live in the city? Hi. Uh, pardon? Do you live in the city or do you live in yeah. the country? Uh, I, I'm living in the suburb. Another ah. city. Not Osaka, just Osaka. I'm oh. Osaka prefecture, but not Osaka city. I see, I see. The suburbs, that's always nice. To, you know, you have the best of both worlds in the suburbs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, so we have Igor. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Thanks. Yes. How are you doing? Good, good. I'm glad that you're here. How have you been? I've been well, mostly. Good. good. Is, and how's your cat here? Your Siamese cat? I see you have a Siamese cat with you in that ah, picture. The cat is lazy as always. Lazy as always. Ha 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 ha, yes. That's wonderful. Does he uh, does he get up to play like for like an hour a day? Uh, well, he's a little bit old, so oh. all, all he does now is laying around. Oh, <laughs> he's, he lays around. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> but, but he used to chase flies. Well, uh, I bet that was a lot of entertainment, right? All you have to do is open the open the window and let a fly in, and he's has his exercise, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, cool. Well, let's get started here. Um, I'm just going to plug a little bit, uh, just introduce myself to our uh, our viewers who are uh, going to see this on YouTube. My name is Narelle, and I am an English teacher here on Verbling.com. And today we are having an advanced reading comprehension lesson. We will be reading, we, together we will be reading an article that is titled Stray Dogs Master Complex Moscow Subway System. Now, um, I think, uh, Igor, do you live anywhere near Moscow? Actually, I'm 3,000 kilometers away from Moscow. Oh. Oh, I see that. Russia is a very big country now, isn't it? It is. Yes, yes. But you you may have heard of this being uh, it's uh, you you may have heard of this. I'm not sure. Um, so this article is um, I'll give the main idea and then we will discuss the main idea in detail as we read. It's about animal intelligence. I found it personally fascinating when I read it because it it talks about these amazing things that animals can do to make the best of their situations and even thrive living in cities built normally for people. So I thought this article was very cool. We'll begin by, let's uh, begin by just talking a little bit about um, the animals that, or the stray dogs in your countries. Hi, is, uh, are stray dogs common where you are? No, not so much common. Not common. Uh, because uh, the, the city officers always uh, catch oh. uh, stray dogs and cats. Oh, so the city catches the stray dogs. Yeah, because the dogs have a, a special illness, so it's very dangerous. Yeah, I see, I see. So it's dangerous for the dogs or dangerous for the people, or are you think dangerous for both? Yeah. Ah, I see. And then do they, uh, where does the... Uh, animal control 
take the dogs? Are they put in a shelter, or what are they? What happens to the dogs that are found and captured? Mm -hmm. uh, it's very sad. After catching, uh, they keep that the cat um, dogs in some place for mm -hmm. one week or two weeks. I, I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Yes. Then after that, they they will be killed. Mm. Okay. So they but are they're they're euthanized yes. then. Yes. yes. Yes, I, same thing in the United States. Um, I think that, um, yeah, same thing in New York City or in most places, most cities, that dogs are not allowed to be strays. I've been to Mexico, and uh, and it's different where there are a lot more stray dogs. I guess there are different parts of the United States where stray dogs are common, and sometimes it's a problem, and sometimes it's not. Um, it really varies very much. What about uh, Igor? Uh, what about stray dogs in the area where you live? Uh, I can't even remember when was the last time I saw a stray dog. Because ah. they just caged them and then they put them into some kind of a shelter. Mm -hmm. But if nobody comes up to take the dog away from that, they just euthanize the dog. Yes. Any other kind of way. <laughs> yes, yes. Hold on one second. I'm gonna just. I just need to catch this message here in the chat. Click on your thumbnail. Oh, sure. Yes, yes. I need to share the article here. Um. Let's see. Ah, okay. So can everybody see that? Does I should probably make that bigger so everyone can see. Everyone can see the article? Okay. Yes, uh, but uh, still a little smaller for me. Okay, let me see if I can zoom that in a little bit more. I'm going to make everything bigger so that have a good visual. Okay. I'll go to the top. Okay, is that better? Yeah. It's okay. Better. Thank you. Great, great. Yes, yeah, so this is the article. It's originally, I provided the link uh, it, uh, at the uh, where you see the title of the class, where you click on the class. So if you wanted to see where it was on the internet from the ABC News website, you can feel free to do that. Um, so it sounds like um, you both live in cities where stray dogs are not common and they are handled by the city. Is that does that sound right? It does. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, we've got uh, Hussein. Good to see you again. How are you? Thank you. I'm doing great. How good, good, good. Did you have a good day? Yeah, it was nice. Good, good. So um, to catch everybody up, we are uh, discussing, or today's reading comprehension for advanced English speakers is about, is about stray dogs that live in Moscow that have mastered the human subway system. So I'm going to say hello to YOLO here, and then we'll come back to you, Hussein. Oops, Yolo looks like he uh, he's gone. All right. Well, Hussein, well, um, do you live in an area where there are many stray dogs? Uh, stray dogs. Ah, uh, okay. Stray dogs are like the dogs who uh, wander yes. from streets to streets. They have no owners. Right? No owners. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, not much, but there are. Yeah, sometimes I see, but not a lot of, I think. Ah, there not a lot. lot. Yeah, so is there um, um, a, a law enforcement in your city that catches them before they can peck and become problems? Is that how it goes? I really, I don't know about it. I think it's not a big problem. It's not that mm. problem yet. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I see. Cool. Okay, well, let's dive into the article here. So, um, Hyde, can you see? Yeah. Thank okay, you. great. Why don't you read these first two paragraphs here out loud for us? 
every so often, if you uh, ride Moscow's uh, crowded subways, you notice that the commuters around you include a duck, a stray duck, uh, on its own, just using the handy underground metro to beat the traffic and get from A to B. Yes, some of Moscow's stray dogs have figured out how to use a city's immense and complex subway system, getting on and off at the, their regular st stops. The human commuters around them are so accustomed to it that they really, really seem to notice. Very nice. So, Hyde, what was the main idea that you just read here? Uh, there are many stray dogs on the uh, subway station. Then uh, they uh, take in and off the uh, subway uh, train. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They already manipulated how to use. Yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. And we've got Kako here. How are you? Hello, Norel. Nice. Thank you. And you? Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to have you here. Hold on. Let me see. It looks like um, I'm just, I just need to check out this chat message here. Oh, okay. 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 And everyone can see the Hangout article here, right? Everyone can see the article? Good. Okay. Okay. Great. So let's see. We'll scroll down here. Kako, why don't you read the next two paragraphs? No. In Mo Moscow, there are all sorts of stray dogs, but there are no stuffed dogs. Dr. Andrei, Andrei, Dr. Andrei Boyarkov, a biologist who has studied Moscow's trays for 30 years, told ABC News. As many as 35,000 stray dogs live in Russia's capital city. They can be found everywhere, from markets to construction sites to underground passage passageways, scrounging for food and trying to survive. Excellent, Kako. So, oh, I'm oh, sorry, sorry about, about the, the echo. echo. Let's, Let's see. see. I see. Let me see if I can fix the echo. No, it's okay. Okay? All right. Yeah. Great. Maybe Taco's computer has some problem. I see. I see. Okay. Great. I just want to make sure that everyone can hear. Great. So, um, Kako, what is the um, what does the word scrounging mean? I I suppose is scrounging is um search for food yes on um in bags for example in on the on the on the streets uh -huh. i think he's he's spe he's speaking about um, dogs that live in the streets without a master uh -huh. abandoned yes yeah. Excellent. Okay, so um, Hussein, can you use scrounging in a sentence, please? Uh, okay. Um, 
Mm -hmm. uh, we were scrunching for for a restaurant. We yeah. were scrunching for a restaurant uh -huh. all day long, but yes. we didn't find any. Yes, that is mm -hmm. great use of scrounging. Oftentimes we scrounge when what we're looking for is rare, hard to find. Yes. Yes. And Igor, can you use scrounging in a sentence, please? Uh, a car dealer often scrounge for scrounge around for old car parts. Oh, very good. That is a great use of scrounging for yes, car parts. They're hard to find. I agree. Excellent. Hyde, what about you? Um, a sentence with scrounging in it. I visited Rome before. The first time, I was surprised that there are many people are scrounging um, some food or money around the people. Yes. Excellent. In Japan, I've never seen that, so I was very surprised. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, so is um. So so not you don't see that often in Japan. No, I've never seen that. Not too many stray dogs scrounging for food, not uh, too not, many homeless not, people. Uh, yeah, even dogs or uh, people. Ah. <laughs> Would you say it's because you have a good government that takes care of its people? Yeah. There are many people in Rome that uh, came from other countries. Ah, yes. yes. Then they are scrounging some money or food yes. uh, to the tourists. Mm, yes, yes, scrounging for money and food. The two things that are often scrounged for. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Um, I'm going to have Hussein, would you read the next three paragraphs, please? Taking the subway is just one of many tactics the strays, strays, the strays have come up with for surviving in the man-made wilderness around them. The street is tough, and survival of the fittest, says Poyarko. These clever dogs know people much better than people know them. Poyarko says that only a small fraction of strays have figured out how to navigate the maze that is Moscow's subway system. Excellent. Okay, so what is the main idea there, Hussein? Uh, the main idea is that it's talking about the uh, strays, strays, strays dogs, stray mm -hmm. dogs mm -hmm. have got, uh, learned how to take the subway, mm -hmm. and there's a scientist who who's talking about these dogs. Uh -huh. mm. And it says a small fraction of strays, only a small fraction of strays uh, 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 learned how to use it, I think. So. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Okay, that was a great explanation. Uh, that was a great summary. Um, so, Kako, um, we have here, it's an idi idiomatic phrase. Survival of the fittest. Have you ever heard that phrase before? No. It is the first time that I see yes. this yes. phrase of uh, this expression. Mm. Yeah, you'll yeah, see you'll it often. often. Um, can you give an example of something where you where you use that that phrase, phrase to describe it? Someone's someone Yes, yes. Um, Kako, uh, can you use um the uh, um headphones? headphones? Are you using you headphones? headphones? Yes, teacher. I see. I see. Okay. okay. I think it I might, think just, it might be, just be uh, uh, when it, when it, yeah. uh, Kako and I speaking. So Kako, you should mute yourself. Yes. Yes. Teacher. Yes. The noise is, is, is still is still continuing. Is it better now? Oh, okay. well, I don't hear any echoing. Yeah, now. better. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Other good. other voices echoing with uh, I mean your computer. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. I think everything's okay now. Thank you. 
So you want me to give uh, an example for survival of the features? Yes. Well, in the wild wildlife, it is survival of the fittest. Mm -hmm. The strongest survives. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Great. And Hyde, do you have an example of survival yeah. of the fittest? In Japan, there are many zoos. Uh, some do, uh, some animals came from Africa, uh -huh. but the northern part of Japan is very cold in <laughs> the winter season. Uh -huh. Sometimes it's uh, uh -huh. negative degrees, but uh -huh. um, African animals, uh, they they already uh, fit that temperature. Uh -huh. uh, and it was uh, those survival of fitness. Uh -huh. okay. Excellent. Think. Excellent. Good, good. All great examples. And Igor, uh, you say that there is a song with that title. Yeah. Are, you are you going to sing that song for us? Well, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to sing if you don't want to, but uh, please give an example of where, of, 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 an example of that might fit the term, it's survival of the fittest, the phrase. <laughs> well, I think I uh, gave you one example. <laughs> yes. What well, I, I can come up with another if you want. Sure. Okay. Well, uh, on the war, it's survival of the fittest. Yes, 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 yes. And you know what also is survival of the fittest? I find that the army has a very it's survival of the fittest attitude, the military, and the corporate world. I think um, a lot of um, a lot of places where people are competing for the top spots, like in Ivy League college, in the top universities of the world, there's very much a survival of the fittest attitude there. Yes. Okay. So, are we on, Igor? Um, please read. From, from here. Sure. Uh, can you? Uh, Sorry. Yeah, this is, I don't know what that is. Okay, better. Yes. What's most impressive about the subway docks, says Payarkov's graduate student, Alexei Vereshagin, is their ability to deal with the metro's loud noises and packed crowds distractions that domesticated dogs often cannot handle. It's stressful even for people standing in a crowd, he says, and the dogs are lying down so one is seeing them, so anyone can put feet on them, but they get used to this. ABC News found a female stray in the Kievskaya station and barely managed to follow her as she zipped between the legs of the bustling travelers around her to catch a ride on the Kaltsevaya line. Ah, so do you, so what do you think these dogs are aware of as they do these actions? We see here that uh, this dog knows how to move really quickly. She's zipping between the legs, and we see that they lay down where... They lay down and they put themselves at risk of being stepped on. So, what? Uh, what do you? Can you describe these dogs' awareness of their situation? What are they aware of that they would behave that way? Well, they're aware that there is a lot of people around them and mm -hmm. that someone might ac accidentally step on them mm -hmm. or even squash them. But they keep attention to that mm -hmm. and keep navigating this mess of legs. <laughs> Yes. So yes. They, they are able to avoid being squashed. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Physically, they are physically aware in that way. Yes. And Kako, do you think that these dogs have an awareness? Uh, what else do you think that these dogs are aware of? I think they are very clever. Mm -hmm. in the art of surviving mm -hmm. at tough situations like in the metro's environment yes. where they, they live uh, 
with uh, scarce food, mm -hmm. um, situations in which they can be endured by by the metro's train, mm -hmm. by the electrify, electrified mm -hmm. rails. Mm -hmm. um, I think they they are very very clever in the art of surviving to a difficult. Uh, Situation to the toughness of the of their lives. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Great may answer. I, may I ask a question? Sure. How old is this article? Um, let's see. I think the there is a date here. Um, March ninth, two thousand ten. March nineteenth, two thousand ten. So four years. I four see. years old. Does does that surprise you? What um, what makes you ask? Well, as I said, they do a pretty good job of catching all their stray animals. Oh. And there were times when they didn't actually attend to the to the thing, but right now it's all figured out. Oh. So I don't think there are these ducks in Moscow anymore. Oh, oh so this you so you think that this was a, a temporary phenomenon and that it was nipped in the bud. Of Oh, I see, I see. Ah, oh, that's a really good point. I wouldn't have known that living here. Thank you for adding to that. Thank you for adding that. Hyde, is there anything that you see um, in this paragraph that hints at a greater awareness of these dogs? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they already accustomed uh, in that busy place. Yes. Yes, and I would add that they are. It, it seems like they know that they could get caught by yeah, people. It seems. Of, uh, Moscow is a very crowded place. Uh -huh. In Russia, there are many people going uh -huh. back and forth. Uh -huh. But um, they um, work with uh, uh, people. It's very difficult. <laughs> they have many legs. <laughs> yes, many legs. And it looks and it sounds like to me from these paragraphs that they know that they could get busted at any time, and so they'll t they'll risk themselves by laying mm -hmm. down so no one sees them and moving quickly so that they can't be caught or followed because they seem to understand that they're quote unquote breaking the law mm -hmm. and as Igor said mm -hmm. um, eventually they're, they don't do that anymore now <laughs> yes 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 okay so well I think the dogs are actually trying to hide in some kind of a corner I don't think they're just laying around in the open Yes, yes, they hide behind corners, exactly. So yeah. they're, they're less likely to be stepped on. Yes. Oh, that's, that's a good point. Yes, that's probably true. One would rather hide behind a corner than just, like, get stepped on. Uh, the, Any time that they are out in the open, it's probably because there's absolutely nothing to hide behind, right? Is there anything you can add to that, Hussein? No, I was just watching a video. I just copied it in Google Chat, uh -huh. and that there are some dogs in the subway. And Russian people are so nice to the animals, I think, because the dogs are not afraid of the people. Wow. And and I think in the other countries, it's not very possible. People can beat them up. I think some people uh -huh. <laughs> can beat the dogs up. That's and, wonderful. Yeah. So you're saying that Russian people generally um, think very highly, or they're very good to animals in general. I think so, because otherwise dogs must be afraid of the people, and they they try to run away from the people then when they see them. Mm. But they, they, don't, they don't run. 
Yes, I see. I see. Wow, thank you for adding that. That's a great uh, cultural point. That's wonderful to hear. And also, I think he's right, because people here don't really try to hurt animals. Yes. And there are often people who just go and give some food to this kind of animals. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. And um, I know that I, certainly Korean culture doesn't feel this way in totality, but there is a, a kind of like undercurrent subculture in South Korea where I'm about to move, where they eat dogs. And there are, I mean, I guess that animals are treated poorly in certain subcultures in every culture, but I, I know that um, it's, Korea is one of the few cultures that does eat dog culturally and it makes and that's unique to South Korea. All right, Kako, I'm going to have you read the next three paragraphs, please. Once on board, she settled down on the floor among the feet and legs, even dozed a bit and occasionally got up for a brief conversation with a friendly human. She seemed to sense that such close quarters were no place to appear threatening. Here. Whoops. Whoops. Sorry. Where were we? Where were we? Nowhere to appear threatening. I'm sorry, I <laughs> like lost mm -hmm. my light. Okay, here we go. There. Um, can you read uh, this next one, Kako? Okay, teacher. Linden, see, Linden cites a wide variety of creatures ranging from captive orangutan, orangutans, orangutans and others who frequently and slyly trade with their keepers to a British cat, cat famous for regularly taking the bus to a squirrel in Oklahoma who became a local hero when people began to note that it regularly obeyed, obeyed traffic signals when crossing a busy street. Excellent. Okay, let's everybody, I'm going to just go over some pronunciation points. So why don't, uh, why doesn't everyone repeat after me? So this is orangutans. 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 Excellent. Orangutans. Does anyone know what an orangutan is? Yeah, it's, it's an animal. animal. It's, it's a, a large uh, monkey. Yes. A, a large African mon yeah. monkey. Yes, yes, well done. Yes. Variety. Variety. Excellent. Variety. Variety. Excellent. Squirrel. 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 Yes. Regularly. 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 Excellent. And finally, obeyed. 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 Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, so, Hide, can you tell me a little bit about what Kako just read here? Oh, hide, excuse me, hide. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about what Kako just read? Uh, they already know uh, how to live in that uh, this crowded place. 
Uh -huh. uh, for example, uh, crossing road, they obey the, uh, the traffic signals. Uh. Mm -hmm. Does that surprise you? Yeah, I saw some YouTube um, in another place as well. They are obeying a, a traffic signal. Wow. They are waiting for the, yeah. <laughs> the traffic light to change green. <laughs> ah, I see, I see. Does anyone here have, I, I know Igor has a kitty cat here. Does anybody have a pet? Yeah, I have a turtle. A turtle? Is he yeah. <laughs> trained to obey any signals? No, uh, but when it sees something green, uh -huh. uh, it thinks that uh, it's going to eat something, and it's oh. like a signal of uh, lunch or breakfast. Oh, or <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. So is this a uh, turtle? Is, wait, is turtle um, in the water? Does yes, exactly. In the water. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. I see. Will he live for a hundred years? Will he outlive you? Outlive all of us? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but, but I think they live for more than 100 years. Yes, I've I, hear, heard that turtles uh, live like 200 uh, something uh, years. <laughs> yes. Um, does anybody else here have um, a pet? No, teacher. I haven't. Ah, I see. Igor, does your cat obey any signals? <laughs> Only my signals. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. But I, I just don't know. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's been living with me for 13 years, and I've developed a controversial idea with intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sometimes he does really smart things, and sometimes he does really dumb things. <laughs> Can you tell us um, a smart thing that he did and a not so smart thing he did? Well, smart things, uh, he, he can easily open the doors. Whoa, that's... Every, cool. every door, and uh, one day I've seen he to move the zip tie to Whoa. actually open the bag. Oh my God, that's crazy! So he uh, he opens Ziploc bags. Also, he knows exactly when to <laughs> to try to scrounge for food. Oh, that's that's so crazy! He sounds like a very smart cat that he knows how to get what uh, he wants. I've seen this one really dumb thing he did, and this is why I, uh, this is when I started doubting his intelligence. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> what, what? I, I, I have a table here. Uh -huh. The table is really close to the window. Uh -huh. And my cat really likes to lie on a window ledge. Oh. But oh. here there is a curtain. Uh -huh. The curtain was uh, covering, uh -huh. uh, the, the blocking the path to the window ledge. Uh -huh. But the cat was not aware that uh, the curtain can be moved away really easily, and mm -hmm. he seemed to think that the curtain is really something heavy and solid. Oh. <laughs> so he, he made a lot of really funny movements, uh -huh. like trying to become little zigzagish crooked to get on, oh. the, <laughs> on the edge <laughs> of the window ledge, uh -huh. and to bypass the curtain without moving it, and he failed. And fault because of that. Oh, that's so funny. So he thought that the that the curtain was like made out of concrete or something hard and immovable, and so he thought that he had to slide in between. Yeah. That is adorable. That is cute and silly. <laughs> thank, thank you for sharing so much. I love hearing people's pets. Last, last night I was watching TV from Argentina. Argentina. Uh -huh. uh, there the zoo. The all animals, you can touch all animals, like lion or uh, the grizzlies. They're oh. very friendly, like domestic animals. Wow! <laughs> so the lion and the grizzly bear was very domesticated, so they were people friendly because they... Was it from a, a zoo? Huh? Yeah, yeah, in the zoo. 
Oh, cool, cool. And the zoo staff said they grew up with dogs. Oh, wow. They're, they're baby. So they learn uh, how to manage <laughs> with people oh. like dogs. <laughs> oh, cool. I once heard a story about a bear, a tiger, and a lion that were all best friends because they were all like babies in a zoo together and they all grew up really well and they wouldn't have been friends in the wild and it was extraordinary they were on the news because the, it was these three species that usually didn't become friends and they did because of, of because of growing up together as as cubs it was really cute okay so Hyde can you read the next three paragraphs please the takeaway is uh, that animals are not just uh, passive in this uh, Linden to told ABC News they are uh, figuring out uh, what we are about and how they can game the system and work it their advantage as well. Most of the stories have also been observed obeying traffic rights, says oh, Baris, <laughs> Baris Chan Chagin. Yes, good. He said, he said oh, Pia, <laughs> I'm sorry, Puya Kof. Reports and straight have developed a variety, a variety of techniques for um, hunting food in the wild metropolis. Some sometimes the pack will send out a smaller, a cuter a member, a, um, apparently realizing it will be more successful as uh, begging them it uh, bigger, less uh, attractive con uh, counter counterpart. Ah, yes. Well done. So let's just go over pronunciation here. So advantage. Advantage. Good. Observed. Observed. Variety. Variety. Metropolis. Metropolis. Excellent. Good, good, good. So, Hyde, does this surprise you? Mm. Oh, yeah, not so much. Um, I mentioned that too in Argentina. It surprised me compared to that. A dog is a, a like kind of uh, animal to uh -huh. obey. So, somehow uh, they could find how to live in that place. Mm, yes, yes. So, um, Igor, we have Igor here, and he says, so can you say these Russian names for us so that we uh, can hear uh, the way they're mm. pronounced? Payarkov. Payarkov. Pa, oh, pa. oh, this one, Payarkov. Payarkov and Payarkov. Okay. Vyrishagin. And Vyrishagin. Vyrishagin. Oh, Vyrishagin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're getting a, le a lesson in Russian names here. Thank you. Parkov and Russia. Okay. Thank you. Yes, we have names from all over the world when we read about um, events in other countries. Thank you. Hussein, can you um, give us the main idea here? Yeah, it still talks about the stray dogs and says like for example they uh, they obey traffic lights and they are hunting in the wild metropoles mm -hmm. and they are, they know a lot of they know how to how to, how they can get food mm -hmm. in metropolis mm -hmm. uh, they're they're really intelligent I think mm -hmm. yes well done and Igor have you ever heard of the uh, the phrase takeaway the takeaway well I, I I've never heard of it but I think it's uh, like a very surprising uh, thing such as that takes you away mm -hmm. um, here the takeaway is it's kind of like what we can what we can what we can discern what we can conclude, the conclusion. Here this it's it's used as saying the takeaway is the conclusion. The take 
away? Like what we take away from this article are these key points. I see. Can you use a uh, take away in a sentence with the same meaning as it's used here with? Uh, conclusion. <laughs> uh, we can take away three main points from his speech. Mm -hmm. Great, great. So you use take away as a verb there. And then, but like, so there's take away without the dash in between, but, but they are using take away as a noun in this, like the conclusion, the takeaway. So can you use the takeaway as a noun in a sentence? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I can just uh, <laughs> recompose the sentence. Yes, so. recompose the same sentence, yes. Yeah, the three main takeaways can be uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, that's fine, actually. that I liked that. I liked that you pluralized three, it, too. The three main takeaways can be assertions from a speech. Excellent. Excellent. That was wonderful. Good, good, good. Um, there was one more idiomatic expression that I wanted to go over. Uh, can I say something like, just come up with a takeaway already? Yeah, exactly. You could. You could. That is that is correct. You could. Yes. Excellent. Variety of techniques. Okay. Okay. So, let's see. Who are we at? Uh, Igor, can you read the next three sure. paragraphs? Another trick, the researchers report, seen as the bark and grab. A duck will suddenly jump up behind a person in the street who is holding some snack, enough of a surprise that the food gets dropped for the grabbing. The female we followed on the Kiev skyline seemed at ease as she traveled among all the people packed in around her, and with reason. Moscow subway streets even have their own statue in <laughs> Uh, Mendeleevsky station. Have you ever seen this statue, Igor? Uh, this is the first time I hear about that. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Maybe there is. Yes. <laughs> yes, wouldn't that be funny? All right. Uh, uh, I think I have my doubt that this is actually about a stray dog. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> there is even, have, has anybody heard of the movie Hachi? Yeah, sure, it's a Japanese movie. <laughs> yes, it's about, it's a, I think it's Japanese, or it's about a Japanese dog, or it's about a, an, an Akita. Yeah, and the dog is Akita, Akita dog. Akita. Akita. It became very famous in the world. Oh, oh yes, it's a, it's a wonderful story. Uh, can you tell everybody what that story was about? Uh, Hachi, the dog, um, uh, the owner is a professor. Yes. He always went went, uh, went to the station mm -hmm. uh, to uh, welcome <laughs> welcome back uh, his uh, owner. The, every day uh, he went to the station, but the uh, professor died. But after his death, still he went to the station every day, rainy day and snowy day. Mm. Yes. Then uh, people um, appreciated the dog. After the, his death, uh, people uh, made a statue in front of the station. Yes. Has anybody seen this movie? Well, I've seen, uh, I don't know, like a similar movie. Uh -huh. There are a lot of movies here that picture a dog like some kind of a savior. <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah, I loved that movie, Hachi. It was just a really beautiful story about loyalty. Yeah. All right, Kako, um, can you read the next three, the next four, I guess, the next three paragraphs? I think Kako took off. Oh, okay. So, Hyde, can you read the next four? It commemorate more chick, more chick. Oh, Kako returned. Ah. Hey, Kako. 
Hey, Kako, can you hear us? She's loading up. Yes, it's loading up, yes. I'll give it a minute. Hey, Kako, can you hear us? Yes, teacher, I now can hear you. Good, awesome. Welcome back. Can Thank you, you. You're welcome. Can you read this? Uh, these four lines here? It commemorates Moshek, a stray who lived there until he was stabbed. Stabbed. Yes, stabbed. By a fashion model, fashion model in 2002, who didn't like how Moshek barked at her terrier. At her terrier. 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 Learn how to live with them. Learn how to live with them. All outraged Muscovites erected the statue. Passersby now rub the Malshek's shiny bronze nose for good luck. Despite this public admiration for the strays and their survival skills, many Muscovites we still see the tens of thousands of homeless dogs as a big problem. Mm, well done, well done. Um, what do you think? Um, what do you think a solution for the tens of thousands of homeless dogs could be? I think that. One solution could be um, emasculate um, um, a fraction of those thousands of homeless homeless dogs. Yes. Because when when they breed and they and they multiply the population of stray dogs tend to increase. Well and, said. And if, if they, and if they don't put a freight, a freight, a freight, no, a freight, no, a break on that, uh -huh. it will be insustainable. Ah. Uh. Yes, yes. Did you uh, say the last word one more time, Kako? Teacher, can yeah. you repeat, please? Sure. Uh, can you say the last word that you said one more time? Ah, okay. I said that one solution could be emasculate, castrate. Yes. Uh, um, a percentage of the, those thousands of homeless dogs uh -huh. because if they they don't put um, a break on that the population will skyrocket will oh. skyrocket skyrocket ah I see yes that was I just wanted to make sure I understood your uh, I'm sorry, it's skyrocket. One word, skyrocket, yes. Yes, skyrocket is a great word. It's a, um, it means to increase greatly, hugely increase, multiply, yes. Well done, well done. And Hussein, do you have anything to add? Um, any solution that you think other than uh, or besides the neutering of a certain percentage of those stray dogs? No. I don't know. I don't know how can they solve this problem. Mm, okay. And Igor, uh, Igor, what about you? Any solutions? Mm, uh, not really. All right. Cool. Cool. I think. Um, yeah, that's probably the biggest, the main solution. Uh, they can also. Yeah, it's more people can adopt animals. 
or and they can also sterilize. Yes, that's the uh, that's the big word. That's probably the most common scientific term: steriliz sterilization, neutering. Yes. All right. So. I uh, see. Hi, Delta. We are probably going to end now, actually. I yeah, yeah, I can see that. I'm sorry, teacher. Oh, that's okay. I just wanted to I say was, hello. I was in the university. Ah, I see. Glad to say hello. Um, looks like we are at 6.56. Um, so feel free to read the rest of the article. It's provided in the link if you are interested. Otherwise, I'm grateful that you all came. You all did a wonderful job reading and talking about your opinions. Um, I'm available for tutoring sessions one-on-one. -on -one. I'm doing a discount right now, um, $22 for private sessions and then 18 if you buy a package of five or ten. And um, yeah, um, we had fun. Grateful to meet you all. I will see you next time. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.